more than anything in these first three practices? Um, well, the competition's been great, and I think that even the defense being younger, uh, it, it's been good to get out there and, and compete against those guys. I think uh, them not having as much experience, and, but they're still competing with the offense, who I expect to be top five in the country, if not the best. They, they've been competing with us very well, so it's been good to see that for them to come out with a little fire and ready to go. Baker, what wide receivers have really improved their games from spring last year through summer and these first three practices? Uh, I mean, there's there's so many to, to, th to name off, but um, A.D. Miller, uh, Dahu Green, Jeffrey Mead, uh, people I haven't even heard of Nick Basquin yet, but he might wind up starting for us, but he's going to play a lot anyways. Jarvis Baxter, uh, even Mark's improved his game too. He's leaned up more and he looks very good right now. Um, and then Jordan Smallwood's playing really well right now, which is good to see because he hasn't been healthy in a while. So everybody's kind of playing well, which is it's good for me. Do you challenge those guys, or do they take it personally? Because, I mean, you, you're coming off of a, a, a season where the offense was so dominated by Sterling and receiver, I, but they I never really made a name for themselves. I challenge them a lot, and the coaches do too. Uh, I think uh, I, I've mentioned it a couple times, but I think they're sick and tired of hearing that our receivers aren't going to be any good because Shep's gone. Uh, they should absolutely take that personal. Um, I mean, they're here playing receiver at Oklahoma for a reason, so uh, I trust them, and, and they're playing well right now, and we're only going to keep progressing. As, uh, Camp goes on. You didn't mention Mike Hell. Can you talk about him any? Yeah, Mike Hell. Uh, like, like I said, too many people to name. I even forgot about Mike Hell. He's a guy that when he first got here, we were kind of we were very impressed with uh, how he looked physically. I mean, he's not he's not a big guy, but he's he's ripped up and uh, he, he's quick. He's very shifty and he's got great ball skills. He can go up and, and jump. He's kind of a player that I think his game is is more similar to, to Sterling than uh, any other receiver. Um, kind of a smaller guy, but plays a lot bigger. Very explosive. Baker, a different kind of offseason for you. You knew your role and, and you were going to be the guy. Was it more different the way that you handled yourself or the way that others looked at you as you went through the, the uh, offseason process? I felt through the spring and through camp now, uh, even though at the beginning, uh, I've been a lot more loose. Whether It's not playing up tight, but uh, my work ethic has been the exact same, if not even, uh, even harder. So. I've been pushing myself, and, and I need those guys to see that because if they were to see me taking a day off or, or just saying that, oh, I've got it figured out, then that wouldn't be good for the program. So uh, I've been working hard, and, and that's how I expect those other guys to do it too. How different has that been for you, just the, that different dynamic of this year? Uh, it, it's been different to not have the same guys around the locker room, but uh, I'm trying not to handle it anyway, with, any other way besides just taking on a more vocal leadership role and, and push those guys to, to be the best and how it should be. How 